divide the polynomials. Let's go ahead and work through it. First, let me say that you could use something called synthetic division for this problem, but we're going to do it with long division just as an exercise in long division. So the first thing I'd like to do is rewrite this. This is x plus 2, and it's being divided by, then we have this piece here, x cubed minus 7x squared minus 13x plus 3. Everyone does long division um, a little bit differently, so this is just um, how I do it. So I'm going to go really, really slow. So first you look at the x here, and you say, what do you have to multiply by x in order to get x cubed? So x squared. So then you put it here, and you match it with the x squared, right? Because x squared times x is x cubed. And notice it's above the x squared term. Now you actually multiply. x squared times x is x cubed x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Then I draw a line. I put a big parenthesis and a giant minus sign, and then I add. Okay, that's just how I do it. It's basically subtracting. Some people switch the signs. I just like to put a minus sign and add. Same thing. So x cubed plus negative x cubed is 0. Negative 7x squared, and then when we distribute this, it'll be a negative 2. So negative 7x squared and a negative 2x squared is negative 9x squared. Then you bring down the next one, so minus 13x. And then you repeat the process. You ask yourself, what do you multiply by x in order to get negative 9x squared? So negative 9x. And look, it goes right above the term that has an x. Then you distribute. Negative 9x times x is negative 9x squared. Negative 9x times 2 is negative 18x. Draw a line, giant parentheses, big giant minus sign, and then you add. Negative 9x squared plus 9x squared, right? That's going to become a plus because it's a double negative, is 0. Negative 13x plus 18x is 5x. Then you bring down the 3. Almost done. And you do it one more time. What do you multiply by x in order to get 5x? So 5. And you perform the multiplication. 5 times x is 5x. 5, 5 times 2 is 10. Draw a line. Parentheses. Giant minus sign. Again, people switch signs. That's fine. I just like to do it this way. Then you add 5x plus negative 5x is 0. 3 plus negative 10 is negative 7. Boom, we are done. Now we can write down our answer. So the answer is going to be this piece here. This is called the quotient. So x squared minus 9x plus 5. And then it's plus the remainder, which is this one here, negative 7 over the divisor, which is x plus 2. So it's always quotient plus remainder over divisor. You can rewrite this in a prettier way. I'm going to as follows. x squared minus 9x plus 5 minus 7 over x plus 2. Much prettier answer than this one up here. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.